everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation and I'm back to show you the video of my completed album I'm going to call Everyday Captured Folio. Um, I made this album, actually I made the folio I should say a long time ago and didn't really know what I was going to do with it and then the other day I just decided to gather some supplies and pick out a collection of papers and just kind of go to town on a a whim on the fly and create an album as I went along. I took some pictures, uh, still pictures, they're going to be on my blog creativeoperation.blogspot.com and I'll put a link um, down below for you. So you can kind of see the process I went through to get to the album um, that I'm going to show you today. So uh, again, I created the folio myself. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is because I wasn't able to get a hold of any folios in my neck of the woods. So I had to figure out how to do it myself. So um, that's what I did. And then um, I gathered a bunch of supplies that I showed on my blog, which included tags, uh, a variety of envelopes, and some file folders. And then uh, once I figured out how I was going to do the album as I went, I picked my paper collection, which is the Teresa Collins um, stationary noted line and all the embellishments that I had to go with it and started decorating. So this is what I ended up coming up with. Um, this right here is a, the closure, the Loop Elastic by Tim Holtz that I went ahead and used to help keep it closed. And I'm just going to flip it over because it actually has two sides. This is actually an interactive piece as well, and I'll show you that in a moment. So um, it just simply closes by the elastic, and then I'll show you. It's connected on the inside. I just put a uh, hole in there and then put the loop through there, and then that is the closure of the piece. So this first part opens up, and then I attached an envelope that I cut down, and I used a magnet to help keep it closed to make this flap. So there's um, spots for pictures and journaling and whatnot, but then the envelope itself opens. I covered the flap with some more paper, and then I put some pieces of the collection in there. I love these little Polaroid frames, so I'm gonna have spots to put pictures, and then I have spots for journaling um, as well in this pocket. Then, so that's like that. So then you go over here and open this side. And I'm going to keep checking to make sure I'm in frame here. I'm hoping I am. Um, so this part uh, opens up. And this is a collection of four different envelopes that I went ahead and put on here. And they, again, I used another magnet um, to close these two envelopes to kind of keep everything all in place. Because you'll see in a second there's a lot in here. So this opens up this envelope, and these envelopes um, were from SEI. I got a package of them. I just put a piece of paper folded so you could put pictures um, and journaling in. So that slips in like that. And then if you open it up, then there's places for more pictures. This envelope opens up, and then um, the line of paper had um, a collection of notebooks and there's two of them and a smaller one and then a larger one that I used later in the album so I went ahead and put that in there and then there's room to of course add other stuff that flips open and then there's an envelope here and an envelope here and I put them backwards so this one opens up to the front but then the bottom one opens to the inside and in there, I put more pieces of um, the paper collection for different, you know, putting pictures on or writing notes, things like that. So that's kind of an example of what's in there. And then that opens up, and I put three Polaroid uh, cutouts there. And then um, she also had, now this is not the stationary noted line. This is another line in, um, forgive me, I don't have the... Um, the package with me right this second, but I believe it's a, a album essentials is what she had, and I basically deconstructed it and um, did it the way I wanted to do it. <laughs> so I laid down a piece of string that wrapped around the whole thing, and that's what keeps it closed. And then you open it up, and then um, I used my version of a hinge system, kind of like the one that Tim Holtz has for his folios. Um, I created one. Um, a while ago because again I couldn't get a hold of any and um, I use that for this album as well so then I just created a little book out of that and then the back is attached with a pocket and then I put another journaling piece in there and then um, 
part of the collection had file folders, so I used the file folder in this pocket as well. And then it closes up and ties up. And then these pieces will fold down and it stays closed with magnet. So then this part here, the middle part, I think it's in there pretty good. Um, I used the tags, but I adhered them so you could actually have two tags under here as well. And I tied with a bow to keep those closed. And all I did was took a long piece of string and tied it to one of the tags and then just looped one of the strings through there and tied it in a bow and that's how it closed it. So that turned out pretty kind of cute. These open up and we'll go to the top one first. I created kind of a, uh, a waterfall type album out of this one. Again, closed with another piece of twine and let me see, we're still in focus. So it's just, it's just a waterfall type album. Pretty simple, but I wanted to leave it pretty simple so that the pictures could kind of be the star of that. And then on the bottom, let's see, we're still in frame. I attached an envelope to here and then put in some more tags. So there's just four tags in there for pictures, journaling, whatever. I didn't do a lot of decoration on those. Um, so then the middle part turned out pretty cool, I think. Let me see, I'm in focus again. So these are file folders. And what I did, I just covered them, and then I used these black photo corners. So the pictures will all be able to slide under here, and there will be a small eighth-inch border of color around each of the pictures. And then, basically, that's what I did with the inner pages, is I attached file folders to that kind of binding mechanism, like in the Tim Holtz file uh, folio things. What I ended up having to do was I cut the the file folders down just a wee bit to fit within this spot but I just had to trim off a little bit and then I attached them to the binding piece and then that's how I attached it to the book so I'll just kind of quickly flip through now in the album essentials by Teresa Collins I had um, I had a um, there was a couple pages of uh, oh the plastic pocket pages so I attached those and then made just kind of a nice little interactive flip page for that. And then the rest of them basically are uh, just photo frames. Didn't do a lot of embellishments because this album is, it doesn't leave a lot of room for like a lot of thick embellishments. So I just did a lot of paper kind of stuff and stickers and things like that. So the last part of the um, hinge piece I used as a pocket and I attached it so that it had a pocket. And here's the bigger notebook that I was telling you about, that that's what I used in this. And all the, all the pages in the two um, notebooks are blank, so you can add whatever you want. I had lots of scraps of paper, so I think as I put pictures in, I'll add more embellishments, maybe do some punches with maybe some butterflies or, or something like that, but I'll be able to do some more decorating on that. And then I had this, um, piece that uh, came with the file folders and I've, I've got more to show you um, and I actually I just cut it up and I used some of the pieces for tags but then I made this piece into a pocket and um, put more of those Polaroid type pictures or uh, pieces in there so that you could put more pictures and, and whatnot in there so that's how that part goes and then so that closes up all the file folders close up and then the bottom and the top close like that. Then you fold this over, fold that over, and so that's the front of the book. And then kind of like the commercials. But wait, there's more. <laughs> you have the back part. I had this gigantor envelope that I went ahead and attached to the back of my folio with the flap. So the flap is underneath this paper. That's how it's attached. And then it gives this gigantic pocket which I put two of those file folders that came with the collection inside. So you can do with whatever you want in there. And then um, out of the papers, I made another pocket. And these came with the other piece that you saw I just showed you. Um, they were tags that went into like that folio thing that I made the, the library pocket out of. So I just cut those apart and put those in here in this pocket that I created. And then on this page, 
Um, I put three more of those and then there's room for more pictures or whatever. So um, that's my album. I hope this video made some sense. Um, <laughs> I'm trying, I haven't done a video in a long time and I got a new iPhone. So I'm kind of curious as how the picture is going to come out on this one. Um, so that's my folio album. Um, please go to creativeoperation.blogspot.com. There's going to be lots more pictures um, of this album in progress. So you'll be able to see how I attach things and, and how it looked while I was going and uh, doing it. So anyway, I hope you have a good day. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, I will talk to you later. Stay crafty, everybody. Bye-bye.